Whiskey Jason here, Whiskey Live Dublin 2023, together with Paul Kerris and Annette Kearney. Very good. So actually, I must admit, uh, we did this yesterday. The audio didn't work, so it's take two. All right, please introduce yourselves, first of all. Paul Kerris, I'm a co-owner with Annette Kearney of Dunwire Cooperage. Yep. I've been working in this industry for 20 plus years, and I've been doing making wine, <laughs> spirits, and barrels. Yeah, very good. And your history? Always on the front line, I <laughs> suppose, yeah. maybe. Uh, yes, I've been involved in the drinks business for quite a while, yeah. but mainly in, uh, in the front line selling whiskey and distri distributing Irish drinks. Um, but then I returned to Ireland and I wanted to set up something, my own business yeah. in, in, in Ireland, in the west of Ireland. Yeah. And so we, we've been doing this for almost two years now. Yeah. So we're supplying casks and coopering serves to the uh, Irish whiskey business. Now, to be honest, that was a little bit of like a gap in the market. Um, we had a lot of new distilleries, but then of course we have distilleries, we need casks. And um, not many people were doing any cooperage. You had on-site cooperages with big, 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 big players, but the smaller needed someone. And then you came along and you actually started um, educating, training people. Tell us a little bit about that at the beginning, if you'd like. Sure. Well, I suppose our business started really from supplying uh, maturation casks right. for the business and we supply all uh, the majority of, of distilleries in Ireland, as you say, there are, apart from the big four, yeah. there's a lot of other new, almost 50 distilleries in Ireland now. Yeah. And they can't always order a full truck, so <laughs> we work with small batch as well. And um, then we acquired a cooperage then in January last year. Yeah. Uh, it was a natural progression of our work. Now we can also then repair and rejuvenate casts, and it brings us closer to our customers and provides an extra service that they're badly needed here yeah. in Ireland. So. Very, very good. And what's your role then from Mr... France. <laughs> yeah, my role is mainly to, to make sure that the production is right, that the barrels that we are providing to our customers are uh, enologically sound mm -hmm. and as well structurally uh, that they are not leaking, yep. which is very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yes, we had this discussion yesterday <laughs> about sulfur. And oh, yeah, yeah. My, my favorite topic in German. So definitely uh, our focus is really to make sure that we are providing casts that are usable for our customers. We are here for another 20 years, yep. we still have another 20 years to run. <laughs> so this means that we have to provide the best quality cask possible for our customers. Yep. And um, as well, one, other, one of our mission is to revive the cooperage craft yep. in Ireland, yep. because as you know, this has almost disappeared for yeah. 60 years. Yeah. There was 400 coopers in <laughs> Dublin itself working for Guinness yeah. in 1952, yeah. I think. Okay. You can find a video on YouTube yeah. about that. But it almost disappeared. Yeah. And what we are about is really reviving this craft, mm -hmm. getting apprentices, getting also a lot of equipment mm -hmm. from all around the world yeah. in order to scale up yeah. and to build up the technology for reviving this craft yeah. here. Very, very good. Now, yesterday we did not talk about Irish oak. Is that something you're also going to try to pursue? We've been asked many, many times yeah, for because sure. it's, an, it's a natural question for a lot of the distilleries and it's a point of differentiation and distinction. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the tree stock in Ireland. Yep. Uh, you, you, we're a hundred years behind uh, on that. <laughs> We don't have the trees that grow straight and you know, we're not so many knots, so it's a difficult one. Yeah. We are hoping in the future that we will be able to manufacture Irish-made barrels. So we will uh, import uh, the wood and we'll air dry them uh, in County Mayo, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. And so it will be as far as we can take it uh, at that point. But we have, in Ireland, there's so much innovation in wood maturation. We're in a lucky place at a lucky time yeah. as well because you can also go around some of the stands here at Whiskey Live today and start tasting some of the whiskey that has been aged in various woods that yeah. we have surprised. So uh, it's a nice feeling to, to I'm see. I'm sure that. that makes you very proud to yes, see the product made from your wood, right? Well, the, the, our customers requested, but yeah. we, we help support that. So yeah. uh, it's a nice, we're at the forefront of innovation as well. Yeah. So you can see a lot of new whiskey flavors that will be coming out. Uh, down the line that uh, have been, I suppose, aging casts that wouldn't have been used before. So that's that's something nice that we that we do. Now, sometimes there's a little bit of the the fight about how much influence does a cask have for the whiskey. Some people say 40%, some people say 80%, some people say in between. What do you think? 
I think that's a, a very important uh, <laughs> parameter in the whiskey. But I think that um, the people that are saying 80% yeah. are stating a little bit, they are overstating <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I think that yes, 40% is uh, the right percentage. Okay. Let me tell you why. Because we, we are here, we are not in America. In America, bourbon is very much wood forward. Yeah. But here, it's much more about distillate forward, yep. malt forward, mm -hmm. to, to taste to be able to taste the, the malted body. Right. So uh, yes, forty percent is the right amount okay. to, to my understanding. Yeah. And I would say that even though uh, for um, an Irish whiskey to have more than forty percent wouldn't be uh, <laughs> wouldn't be so much an Irish whiskey. Okay. Would be uh, another country yep. maybe. Yeah. So yeah, the true Irish, I would say, it's about forty percent. All right, maybe even yeah, less. <laughs> but to tell you the truth, also here in Ireland, because yeah. we have a, such a small inventory in terms yeah. of age, yeah. it is important for our customer to come with well-aged products mm -hmm. and to be able also to have a point of differentiation yeah. and to try a lot of different wood yeah so we are for instance supplying at the moment but it's a bit secret oh it's a secret, secret. it's it's going to be on youtube so let's tell the secret so a bit of mulberry wood yeah a bit of cherry wood ah a bit of acacia yeah ash so we are Ooh. A lot of different stuff. because in ireland we're not bound to oak yes. like we are in america and scotland yes exactly <laughs> so we are able to do a lot of experiment with our customer yep and this is what is cool with our business because we are really in the heart of innovation yep and we we taste <laughs> before the consumer yeah. the product ah. really Yes. Years sometimes. Before. Yeah. So we know a lot of what is going on yeah. and what is going to be the future in Irish whiskey industry. All right. Wow. Wow. So we're at the source here. So tell us some, not once again about the name. You have an interesting name. Oh, thank you. Um, quite simple. Um, it's an Irish name. So Dar is the Irish for oak and yeah. Nua means new. Right. So we're trying to, I suppose, respect the tradition uh, of coopering and, and barrels are a very old, uh, yeah. old commodity. Um, but also then bring something new and modernize it as well. So yep. a sort of respect for the past, but also looking to the future as well. Yep. So that's what our name's about. All right. So as a consumer, you're not basically the first person I'm going to talk to. I'm going to go for the whiskey. But if I'm a producer of whiskey, I'm in Ireland, I should be able to contact you. And you can make almost everything happen, can't you? Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. From containers to individual casks. Absolutely. Yeah, we're, there's no minimum order. We, right. we can work for a single cask and right up to full containers. Right. And we're bringing in casks from all over the world, from right. from Martinique, from uh, obviously the States, uh, yes. also then from Europe, a right. lot from Europe. We have a warehouse in, in Bordeaux, in France, that mm -hmm. we can collate uh, a lot of European casks. And we bring in trucks every second week now yep. into, wow. the, into the country. And yes. they all go to very different... Uh, I'd say about 35 distilleries in here in Ireland now, so it's great to see. So I'm just going to say thank you very much that we have this thank opportunity you, um, to actually have good wood for Irish whiskey. Because at the, I remember talking with um, Neil Sweeney was here yesterday, and um, I remember talking to him and he said, Jason, we had no money. We used cast the fourth and fifth time. And it's just, we, we, couldn't, we couldn't buy them, we couldn't find them, and, it, and now we have the opportunity to get good wood. And you're one of the people that are making that possible. So I must say thank you very much for the whiskey thank we're going to try in the next 10 years. Some of it's going to be due to you and what you're doing here. Hopefully. So that's very, I hope so. I hope so too. Yeah. All right. Very, very good. Yeah, we to be at the show here. Yeah, well. exactly. Any last words? Yeah, last word would be um, we are so pleased to work for this uh, young Irish whiskey industry. Yep. I'm French. Yeah. You can hear. But for me, it's such a pleasure to revive the craft and to be part, a small part, yeah. but part of this uh, adventure. Yeah. This journey. Irish whiskey renaissance here. Yeah. Yep. All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank, bye. you, Jason. Yeah, bye Thank bye. you. Appreciate it. Thank you.